to an unusual chain of events unfolding right now in the South China Sea following the sinking of a Malaysian cargo ship two days ago. A joint Singapore-Malaysian investigation team trying to determine the precise whereabouts of the ship was stopped by the Chinese Coast Guard as it approached its last confirmed position near a Chinese-occupied island. ABC News has more. Chinese naval ships prevented the investigators from getting any closer to the island, claiming they were illegally entering Chinese waters. Later reports from Beijing have now said that they are currently conducting their own investigation on the grounds that the ship went in their territorial waters. The cargo ship, known as the Baru, was transporting cargo from Singapore to Hong Kong when it sank near Fiery Cross Reef, which is hotly contested by several Asian countries. It is believed that a Category 5 typhoon was responsible for the loss of the ship and more than half of its crew, but China's recent interference has now raised eyebrows. Today, the Vietnamese government released a statement denouncing China's actions, saying, This is an outrageous power grab by the Chinese made even more suspicious by the fact that only they are allowed to conduct the investigation. We believe this is evidence that they are directly involved in the sinking of the Baru and are using the investigation to cover it up. The government then said they were sending more troops to the island under their control, fearing further Chinese aggression. The Philippines, another country claiming parts of the Spratly Islands, has also declared their intention to increase the number of troops on the islands they control, which will undoubtedly raise the stakes in an already tense part of the world. ABC News, Singapore.